If you've been playing guitar for a while and you've learned a few songs, you might start to wonder how musicians make chord progressions so interesting that sound so good together. Well, there are a few very common chord progressions that you'll see in a lot of different songs, and a lot of songs actually share the same chord progression. In this video, I'm going to go over five of the most common chord progressions that every guitarist should know. And once you know these chord progressions, it's really going to help your playing and help your understanding of the guitar so that you can start making your own music, understand how music works, and understand how those artists that you love made the song sound so great. In this video, I'm going to be using the number system to identify the chords, which I explained in last week's video. That's going to be in the link in the description below this video. So go check that out if you want to understand how this works. And once you know how to do that, I'm going to show you the chord progressions so that you can apply them right now to your playing today. So you can start making your own chord progressions and become more creative as a musician. So first up is the 1-5-6-4 chord progression. This is possibly the most common chord progression ever written. It's in thousands of songs, you'll hear it everywhere. This is a very common pop chord progression, but it's also used in many different styles of music. This one became so popular because it's just a really nice sounding chord progression. It flows really smoothly together, it's happy, it's upbeat, and you've got this tension on that fourth chord before you lead back into your root chord, which just makes for a very smooth sounding all around chord progression. One other great part about this one is if you go and try and jam with other people and you know this chord progression, then most other people will know how to jam with this and play with this kind of intuitively, so it's a very good one to get started with when you're playing with other people. So if you're playing this, you can play this two ways, either with our open chords or using our six note pattern from the previous video, again link in the description if you don't know how that works, with your bar chords. Our chords for this one, starting in a G major scale, are going to be G major, D major as your five, E minor as your six, and then C major as your four. So played open, that's just G, D, E minor, C. You probably already know a lot of these chords. Fun little game you can play here is this is a very common popular chord progression. So once you hear it, see if you can think of a song that you know that might use this chord progression. Put the name of that song in the comments below and then see if you're right. Moving on to our second chord progression, another very, very popular one, we've got the 1-6-4-5 chord progression, which is the same chords from our last one, just in a different order. This one sounds very warm and inviting, it's a great tune to play along to if you're just jamming on your acoustic guitar. The chords we're going to play, if we're playing this in an A major scale, are going to be A major as our 1, then F sharp minor as our 6, D major as our 4, and then up to E major as our 5. But especially on acoustic guitar and to make this more accessible, you can often shift these chords to our open position, at which point our chords become A as our 1, then F sharp minor, still a bar chord, but our 6. Then moving on to our 4, we've got a D, and then ending on an E for our 5. And this makes it a mostly open chord progression. Notice here are that 1 to the 6th at the start is a very nice sounding transition when you're moving from your 1 chord to your 6th. It's just got a really smooth, beautiful transition to it. And then we're ending on that 5 chord, which is actually the one that builds the most tension before we resolve into our 1. So you bring these two things together and it's just a very nice, warm, inviting chord progression that just sounds really pleasant to listen to. One thing you can do with your five chord if you want to add even more tension on top of the chord that's already being the most tense is take this E chord and make it instead of an E, make it an E7. And just adds a little bit more tension to your five chord than it already had before. Final point is when you're making your own chord progressions, you can take your chords as the basis, but then you can also use pick notes through your chords there to just make them more interesting. You can experiment with that to make your chord progressions more unique and interesting, and building on this is how you make really cool chord progressions.
next chord progression is going to be 1, 6, 3, 2, 5. So the cool part about this one is it's a variant from our last one. It still starts on that 1 to the 6, which is a really nice sounding one, and still ends on that 5 for the tension. But we've got our 3 and our 2 thrown in here. So we actually have 5 chords in this progression. And what's really cool is if you play the 3 and the 2 for half a bar each, then you get this really interesting downward run, moving from the 3 to the 2, that builds a lot of motion, makes this high energy, makes it so it feels like there's a lot going on, and you can have a lot of energy in a song with this chord progression. When you've got that 3 to the 2, you get this downward run, which adds a lot of motion and energy, so you've got a lot of energy in this chord progression. It's great for moving and grooving, and gives a lot of excitement, so you can do a lot of interesting stuff with this. So trying this one out, I'm going to be in the key of E major. This one is going to be a bar chord version because the, some of these chords don't translate well into open chords and that's why it's useful to learn your bar chords because there's some stuff you just can't do open. So our chords here are going to be E major, which is open, but then our sixth chord is going to be an F sharp, a C sharp minor. Then our three chord is going to be a G sharp minor. Then down to an F sharp minor for our two chord and end on a B for our five chord. So we play all these together and we can get something that sounds like this. So you might wonder why you should memorize these chord progressions, and there's two main reasons. First off is it's going to make you a better musician and make you better at creating your own music and making your own chord progressions if you understand what to look for and what goes nicely together. The second are these are very common chord progressions that you do hear in a lot of the songs you know, and as you get better, more comfortable with them, then you're actually going to be able to start identifying these chord progressions as they're used in songs just by ear over time, and then that's going to make it a lot easier to learn new songs because you'll be able to hear what chords are playing there, which is just going to make it faster and the whole process of becoming a musician a lot easier for you. Our next chord progression is the 2-5-1-6. And so the first thing you're going to notice with this one is it doesn't start on the 1. It starts on the 2, which is actually a minor chord. And the biggest thing this will do is give it a much darker, sadder sound. It's really hard to make a dark sounding song when you're starting on the bright, happy, chipper 1 chord. So by starting on the 2 chord, we make this a darker sound in general. And then we also have the 6 chord, which is another minor chord, so this is a darker sound all around. We still have the 1 chord, it's in the middle there, but when you sandwich it between a bunch of minor chords, it's going to make it a much darker, more soothing, mellow sound overall. So this one I'm going to play in our C major key, which is another easy one to play a lot of open chords in, just like G major. So starting with this, our 2 chord is going to be a minor chord, and that's going to be... D minor, then moving on to our 5, it's going to be a major, G major, then back to our 1, which is going to be our C major, and then end on the 6, which is an A minor. So you can already see just playing that, it's going to be a darker sound than our previous progressions a bit. This chord progression is the 6 4 1 5 chord progression. So, this one's a really interesting one for a few reasons. First, you're starting on that minor chord, which is the most powerful chord, and by nature, it's going to make it a little bit darker. But then you've got the 4 1 and the 5. Again, they're all major chords, so they're happier and have higher energy there. So, you're starting off with this powerful, darker minor chord to start, but then you've got three major chords to follow it, which really end up balancing the sound. So, it's not particularly happy, not particularly sad, it's very neutral which is really good for a lot of rock music. Another cool part about this chord progression is that one chord is in the middle, so there's no real strong resolution, so it feels like the chord progression could just keep going. You end on the 5, but then immediately goes up to the 6, so you've got this motion to restart, and which adds a lot of motion and energy to this chord progression, which is another reason it's really good for rock music. 
So here is your six, four, one, five chord progression. So then just to make this interesting and fun, I'm gonna put this in a key of G sharp major, which is a super common key, but it's got some good energy to it. So we're gonna start with our F minor, way up there. Then we're gonna move to a C sharp major. Then we're gonna move down to our G sharp major on the one, and then our five with our D sharp major. And you can hear that's got a really high energy but neutral sound to it. Great for lots of rock songs. And there you have it. There are five popular common chord progressions that you're going to see in thousands of songs. If you learn these chord progressions and you learn how to play them in all your different keys, then you've got an infinite variety of different things you can do because you know the pattern. And then all you have to do to change the entire chord progression is just slide your pattern up or down the neck and you have an entirely new chord progression for endless possibilities. If you learned something from this video, please hit that thumbs up button, say hi in the comments below, and subscribe to see my future videos. In next week's video, I'm going to go over minor chord variations, so you can get a bunch of chord progressions that are in minor keys, and when you combine these with the major ones, then you have pretty much all the chord progressions that you're going to need to know to make all your own music, and a lot of the stuff that you're going to see in most popular music. It's really going to work on getting you fast, clear chord changes every time and set you up with a solid foundation so that you can improve as a guitarist and you've got the skills and the foundational skills that you need to really be able to play well every time you pick up the guitar.